Adventure Show, good show. I'm your host, Daisy. Today I'm doing a slime video because I cannot wait until slime season. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna be doing this slime tag, even though slime tags aren't really a thing. I just want to do stuff about slime because I found some on YouTube. And I took some of the questions from there. And then I made my own because, um, yeah. So, um, let's just get started. Okay, so the first one is my favorite slime. Really bright pink icy slime. This is my favorite slime. It just, I love it. I just love icy slime now. This is the second one I made, and I love it a lot. No way. Yeah, it was. It was the second one. It's my favorite too. Okay, so the next one is least favorite slime. And it is this one. It's just, it's just boring. It's like, like too thick to hold anything. And like it holds the foam beads, but it's just like, it's really thick. And like, there's a lot of foam beads and I just, this is my least favorite slime. So, um, yeah, I don't like it at all. So my most played with slime is probably this one because I, I play with it a, a, a really lot. The green Mountain Dew Icy Slime. That's way too green to be Mountain Dew. But anyway, well, it's not actually that green. But like, it looks like, okay. It looks a little too green to be a Mountain Dew Icy Slime. But you know, this is the one I play with the most and I love it a lot. But it's not my favorite. My favorite is the pink one. This is the first Icy Slime I made. There we go. Now my least played with slime is this one. The Starburst slime. That I meant to look and feel like real Starburst. And it's a good slime. You just like hold and like, like that. But it's just like, it's really, it's really boring and um, there's not a lot going on. And I just don't play with it that much. So my favorite slimes to make and play with, like I have more than one that I literally love. Um, regular slime because like it's just it's just they, it has the best clicks and the loudest bubble pops ever there's like a lot of slime right here. when butter slime is done right it's so amazing this is my slime smoothie but it's the best butter slime I've ever felt. Like, seriously. Look at that. Like, it's not like a clay heavy slime. It's still stretchy. Like, really stretchy. And it's still spreadable. And it's still even pokeable. And bubble pops. Kind of. Oh. I really love Flow. 
banana cream puffs. My most fluffy slime is this one. Even I don't I don't have like any fluffy slime. Like zero. And this one like used to have shaving cream in it but it all deflated so it's just like a normal slime now still kind of fluffy but not really i don't like fluffy slime that much and also this cabinet thing is annoying because the drawers keep opening and shutting every time i move the slime around and i don't have anywhere else to film and it's annoying. Most crunchy slime. I don't really like crunchy slime, so I don't have one with like slushy beads in it. I have a um, shredded foam one, the um, one of the um, fruit crunch slimes. So this one isn't that stretchy. The other one that I have over here is more, I mean, more crunchy. This one, the one I mix them all together. It's a really terrible color, but yeah. It's more crunchy than that one. Okay, um, I don't know what happened there, but um, yeah, so <laughs> here, oh my gosh. It's so satisfying when the foam beads stick to the container. Am I the only one that thinks that's really satisfying? Like when the foam beads like do that. Okay, they're not all off the lid, but not there. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think that's why I like foam so much. I just hit the camera. Oh my gosh, I love my my slime smoothie. Like all my slime smoothie tr smoothies don't turn out the prettiest of colors sometimes, but they always turn out the most wonderful textures ever. That's why I like doing slime smoothies like a lot. Except like that one where I mix all the ones with the Dollar Tree glue. Because Dollar Tree glue is terrible. So I hate I hate that one. That's the only like slime smoothie that I really don't like. Okay, and the smallest slime, which is the Starburst one again. This is my smallest slime. And I very other oh, slime on me from the big one. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you already saw it, and I don't like it. Okay. I don't know what the next one is. The weirdest ingredient in slime. Okay. So, this is hard. Okay. This is not mine. My cousin made it. It has vinegar in it. It stinks a lot. And also salt, and it's very chunky. Look at it. It's like, I'm not taking it out. I can't, it stinks too bad. Okay, that's the weirdest ingredient in slime. The best scented slime. Okay, wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, there it is, right there. The coconut crunch smells so good. It smells like coconuts. And I love it a lot. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it through the screen. It smells like coconuts.
Um. Oh, wait, I missed one. Okay. My weirdest slime. Just in general. My weirdest slime. This is my weirdest slime. It's so pearly. It came. Alright. I got this from Dollar Tree. And then I put it in the microwave with a lot of water and lotion. And it turned out to be this really clicky, kind of clicky, pearly thing. And I love it. It's just really weird. It's weird. This isn't a video. Okay. I didn't ha I haven't done it yet. This one. My Froyo slime. I love it a lot. It's so stretchy. And like it, it's kind it's like a clay slime. There's no like clay in it. It has Wonder Dough in it. Not that slime, but it has Wonder Dough in it. Like actual Wonder Dough. And um, I love it. Like a lot. It gets so thick. But it's so like light. And it's uh, it's amazing. It doesn't actually spread that well. Or drizzle that well. But um, I love it. enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Rosie comment on this video something about something about slime about something about something and go check out my second channel day this craziness links in the description box and also Instagram down there as well if you want to go check that out and I'll see you all next time bye